opponent, Autumn Norton, is stepping up. Megan, Autumn Norton trains out of MMA Gold. What do we know about this young lady? Well, she recently switched teams to MMA Gold, and when we spoke to her earlier this week, she said it was a better fit for her, and she feels she made the right choice, and that her coaches and her team bring out the best in her. And I think that's everything that you want as an athlete. You want a team, and you want a coach that's got, that believes in you, that's going to bring the best out of you, so you can perform the best when the time comes. You know, she's worked a lot on her personal life, and it's helped her on the MMA side. You know, she's, she's grown up in high altitude. She didn't see she didn't say that that was going to be an issue tonight because obviously we're in the Baja City. Can be a bit of an issue for some fighters, but she said she's on point tonight. Well, we're going to get to find out as soon as this match starts because fighting up here at altitude is definitely a tall order for, for anyone who's never experienced that. But growing up in that environment definitely got to be an advantage. These two women circling the cage look like they want to claim their spot. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by the Green Ghost. We have both women, 28 years old. The height and reach advantage is it's negligible. Of course, they both made weight. Ladies, I'm excited about this one. I am as well. You know, we've got Phantom Weight starting out the title or the fight. Yes, Phantom Weight title fight tonight. Now let's send it up to our ring announcer, Joe Martinez. Live from Real Works here in Denver, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome to an exciting night of professional mixed martial arts for your enjoyment. This is Invicta FC. And now, fight fans, we are set to go three rounds of action this in the Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing at officially 135.7 pounds in two fights. She stands perfect with two victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, here is sweet Maria Jukic. <laughs> And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, five inches tall. She weighed in officially 135.4 pounds and in two fights has an even record of one win with one loss. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, here is Autumn, the natural Norton. And the referee in charge of the action is Joe Coca. Referee Joe Coca getting ready to start us off for this first bout of the evening. This is one of the fights I was looking forward to, ladies, especially after talking to both these young women when we had our interview sessions. Are you ready? They're both pretty intense. Very intense. Sweet Maria Jukic describes herself, though, as a cerebral fighter. She says, I'm a smart fighter, I think. Now she does have a Taekwondo background and obviously she likes to keep the fight standing. Do you feel that's an advantage for her in this one, Megan? I mean, I think it just depends on what the game plan is tonight. You know, when we spoke to her earlier, both of these ladies said that they wanted to kind of feel each other out on the feet and kind of go from there. And, and that's what we're seeing right now. I, I will say that Autumn Norton is looking insanely fast. That head movement, the confidence that she's exuding right now. I'm loving it. I am too. You know, she's really, she's kind of pointing, drawing that line in the sand saying, come at me. Um, but yeah, her exit and her exit head work is really interesting right now. Loving the footwork too. Autumn Norton, of course, has fought for Invicta FC before. It's always great to have somebody back in the cage with us. And I love seeing Autumn back at 135 pounds. I know Ooh, she's taken a couple years off. Big hook there. Because of all of the, you know, COVID and all that kind of stuff. So it's been three years. She last fought at 145 pounds. So it's good to see her back in her natural weight class. She said that the weight cut was the easiest one she's had to date. And uh, yeah, she's, she's looking phenomenal in there. But I think Jukic is really starting to find her range now. And I think once she finds that range, finds that timing, we'll see her kind of open up a little bit more. And one of the things we can see, you know, I complimented, oh, beautiful, uh, 
15th there from Norton. Um, talking about range there. Nice jab from Jugit. Oh, oh, big shot! Beautiful left hook by Norton. Jugit pops right back up. Now she's defending the takedown. What should Norton be doing right here? She's pressing her opponent up against the fence, but she had her opponent stunned. I would separate and re-engage. I mean, this is a smart move. She's wearing it down, but she's giving Jukic the opportunity to reset, re, you know, gather herself and kind of clear the cobwebs after that knockdown. So, I mean, if I was Norton, I would separate, re-engage and, and look for those big strikes again. Now, both these women only have two professional fights on their record. You think that's a, a tri attributed to, to the, their inexperience? I, I, you know, I think they both have some amateur fights as well, Eve, or at least Autumn Norton has quite an extensive amateur background. There's a lot of blood there uh, coming from the nose. Is that Jukic's nose or I believe Norton's it's nose? Juk Jukic's nose. Yeah, it was that big shot that stunned her earlier, uh, actually dropped her. And I have to say, Norton has always showed some really good ring generalship out there, cage generalship, I should say. And I truly believe that's from her background as an amateur. She has eight fights, which is so rare to see in MMA, in women's MMA particularly, as an amateur, because a lot of us do tend to be thrust into the professional leagues very early on. So to see her having eight amateur fights, I think it really showcases that even though she's only had two pro fights, she is a, you know, she's got the timing, she's got the calmness, she's got the ring generalship, as you said, Julie, and I think that's really being showcased right now. And looking at them right now, I think they're both getting pretty bloody in the nose. Um, good way to start off the night with these bantam weights drawing blood. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. But, you know, another thing about Autumn Norton is that her switch to MMA gold has given her access to some really high-level training partners, including uh, former Invicta Fights uh, fighter Aspen Ladd, who's now with the UFC. And she says it's really helped her get more motivated, more focused in, and she's really extremely pleased with her team. You know the old saying, iron sharpens iron, right? Yeah. So... 100%. I mean, and she looks really sharp tonight. Man. Her defense is solid, even though her nose is a little busted. She, she's been doing well defensively with that head movement. But, but Jukic is just yeah, pressing right now. Yeah, I was right going to say, Jukic is really starting to amp, amp, amp it up. She's coming after with some hard, hard looks. Oh, nice oh. overhand. Beautifully done. Autumn's now doing some, some gamesmanship out there. I feel like Autumn's landing the big shots as counters, mostly not necessarily leading the combination. Yeah, I think that's a good observation. That gives her, you know, kind of a read on what Jukic is doing. But Jukic staying strong there. She's gotten stunned several times. Big jab there. One thing Norton is doing is with that big right hand that's kind of wobbled and, and dropped Jukic a little bit, she she's ducking her head and really committing to that punch. I mean, you've already got blood on your yeah. sheet over there, Eve. I've got blood on my it's notes. Be a good night. And this is round one, fight one. I mean, Autumn said to us, she said, I'm going to set the night off right, and I think they are both doing exactly that right now. Can't call her a liar. And I think we've been remiss in complimenting those leg kicks from both ladies, but especially Norton's really been working. Whoa, oh, Right. Yeah. Man, that left hook landed solid. This, this round has been brought to you by Parking Lot Payday and the return of MGM. New episodes in August on Access TV. That round was absolute fire. That, that was great. What a great way to start off the night. I mean, what's going on in the corner right here for Autumn Norton? What, what, what do you think her coaches are saying to her? I mean, she's doing the right She's, her movement is looking incredible. I would say that her coaches might be talking to her about, you know, when she does have those big shots, don't look to grapple, look to re-establish the range because she is landing the more, you know, the more damage on the stand-up, even though she's taking, you know, some punishment herself with the bloody nose. But I think if she just re-established that range and just gets her head off the center line, I think she's going to have a lot more success going into the second round. I think you made the right call there, Megan. Uh, that, that was a tough, I mean, I feel like Norton had won that round, but that's, that, that's not a 10-8 round with the, the way it was still competitive. What you know, do you think? 
Uh, in terms of a 10-8 round, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. But I will say, <laughs> she wobbled, she dropped Jukic twice, and she wobbled her at the end of the round. So that's very clearly Autumn Norton's round. And I love the way, that beautiful head movement, like you said, Megan. I really love the way she's reading those power counters off of Jukic's head. Oh, beautiful. She's so accurate with those hands right she's now. She's just beautiful. piecing it together, the cough kick into the hook, into the big right hand. She's just... She's like in a flow state right now, Eve. Now, now what do you ladies think about Jukic's jab? Should, should she get behind that right now and just try to keep the distance and reestablish some control of the fight? Well, one of the things I think Jukic is doing quite well is, is her footwork, but she is not getting a lot of a reach on that jab. I do like the way she's putting combinations together, but she does leave herself open. Oh, good. That was another left, you guys. Left hook, lands in the exchange, follows it up with a beautiful ground and pound combination. He could my. not have asked for a better performance. Oh my goodness, this was a beautiful fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a few moments. What 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 happened at the end of that fight? I mean, beautiful left hook as Norton as as, as Jukic stepped in looking for the clinch, but Norton landed a beautiful hook, stunned her. It wasn't even on the head. It wasn't on the chin. I think it hit her in the neck. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever been hit in the neck before, but that that does discombobulate you. Oh, there's a lot of nerve endings it in the neck. It is not pleasant. Yeah. I will agree. It is not pleasant. But I think it's just all of Norton looked the best version of her that I've ever seen in this cage, and I am so excited to see what is next for her. I, I'm truly excited to see both these women back in there because, like, although Norton Norton won this fight convincingly. Jukic, Jukic looked very good in there. This, this was competitive, even though it ended early and it was it was almost a 10-8 round in the first. If not a 10-8 round. One minute, two seconds into the second round. And, and I'm telling you, Invicta Fighting Championships, every time I come here, I get excited on the first fight. It just does not stop. One of the things we're noticing and we will notice a lot of tonight is a reinvigorated bantam weight division. And so having some of these fighters start the night off bathing the Cajun blood is my kind of night, you guys. I, I love seeing Autumn Norton return. And look at this. It, you're right, Eve. It caught her. I think it caught her right on the back of her, her jaw. But the way Autumn Norton grabbed the clinch, grabbed her on the head, yanked her kind of to the ground, did not knee her when she was going to, and then finished with that ground and pound. Just beautifully done. She kind of clobbers her there. Nice uppercut, and then just tosses her to the ground and really starts hammering her. Um, great stoppage. You know, I think that was it for Jukic. I feel that that speaks towards what Megan was saying about her experience. As, as as an amateur, you know, that, that ability to finish, that comes from experience and, and, and just cage knowledge. That was, that was really impressive by Autumn Norton. It, it was really natural was. for her. <laughs> I love the play on what's there. <laughs> We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and for the official particulars, we go up to Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially one minute, two seconds of round number two. Referee Joe Coca puts a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO, Adam the Natural Norton! One minute and two seconds into that second round. Took How'd that feel? Took me long enough, damn. Whew. Uh, I want to thank my coaches, my team. So I put my heart and soul in this camp, and uh, I don't mean to get a little emotional, but 
I've given my life to this sport and, you know, oh God, I'm not gonna get all philosophical on your asses. Thank you to my team and my coaches. There's plenty more of that shit. So thank you to my sponsors, Dime Mount Casino, everyone walk, uh, watching back home in Reno and Susanville. And thank you to uh, Championship Runs Podcast for sponsoring me. Uh, where's Shannon? Shannon, you still give out bonuses or what? Because I, I got to pay rent, girl. Come on. <laughs> Autumn, you said you didn't want to get emotional, but what do these tears represent? Uh, if anyone knows me, they know the bullshit I've been through the last couple of years and switching teams and just kind of trying to figure out my life and getting my mental health right. And, you know, fighting is everything, you know, and I just want to be a better woman all around and being, becoming a better woman will make me a better fighter. So I just want to chase that woman in the mirror every day, you know, and, you know, for the first time in my life, when I look in the mirror, I like who I see. So we're going to keep on going, baby. I'll see y'all soon. A very emotional Autumn Norton up there. A beautiful, beautiful finish. Julie, take us through these highlights. Well, I mean, from start to finish in this bout, Autumn Norton had a statement to make and a statement she made. A lightning fast left hook. Beautiful leg kicks, too. But it was that left hand that did so much damage in this fight. Um, and she it's just the measure, her composure, the way she kind of moved in and out of these combos. And especially when she read that at the end. Left hook draw, yank to the ground, and ground and pound all day with a nice little uppercut. Um, really an exciting fight back for Autumn Norton and a uh, wait like she said I finally like the person I see in the mirror well we love watching you Autumn Norton and we think uh, I cannot wait to have her back in our cage